Brian Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your mobile phone to your computer so you can interact with the notifications, the messages, the phone calls, and even photos. Let's check it out. Okay, so as you can see, it is easier to sync your PC and phone with Phone Link. On their website, you can see that this is available for Android users and for iOS users. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect an Android phone. So to get started, we're going to come down to search in the taskbar and we're going to search for phone link. I'll go ahead and run the app here. All right, when the app loads, you're going to see the instructions here and some information. Use your mobile device from your PC. Make calls, keep up with conversations, view your phone notifications, and more. Here you can choose your Android or iPhone, depending on what you have. I'm going into Android. All right, here I'm required to sign in with my password or PIN. All right, and here all I need to do is scan this QR code to link my Android mobile device. So I'm now scanning the code with my phone. And this takes me to the Google Play Store where I need to install Link to Windows. I'll go ahead and install that and continue. Click continue and enter the code shown on my PC. All right, and here I need to get a code to sign in to my Microsoft account. Or you can do other ways to sign in and use your password. Okay, once you have phone link set up and your phone is connected to your PC, all you have to do is run the phone link app. And boom shakalaka here we have our phone information off here to the left got the name of the phone we even have the status of the networking and the battery level it shows here it's connected and if you want to even further confirm that your phone's been connected you can click this button and a tone will play on your device now across the top, we have our messages. This is the default view. So these are the text messages on my phone. And I can actually click on these and type in responses and send text messages right here from the app. It even includes your emojis, your GIFs, and you can insert or attach images. Okay, next to that, we have calls. So this will show us our call history and we can go ahead and make phone calls here by searching our contacts, punching in phone numbers, and we can make the call right here from the computer. All right, and finally next to that is photos. So this will show you your most recent photos captured on your device. And you'll notice it also includes screenshots. All right, now you'll notice here it says action required and view permission. So there are some permission settings that you can configure. Let's go ahead and look at those. Here you will scan the QR code with your mobile device to show your notifications and enable other phone link features. Turn on all notifications. Accepting all permissions means you can enjoy the full experience of phone link. Okay, once that is done, you will now see off to the left, finish setting up your notifications. And you can go ahead and click open settings on mobile device. So let me show you my mobile device. All right, I'll go ahead and click open settings on mobile device. And we can see here, link to Windows Now. I'll go ahead and tap there. And scrolling down, we're gonna see allowed apps and not allowed. And there is link to Windows. I'll tap there and allow notification access. Allow and we're good to go. Now you do have some options here that you can check or uncheck. All right, now we're good to go. So what this means is now I'm getting my phone notifications sent right to the phone link app. Now let's take a look at some more advanced settings. I'll come over here 
to the far right and we'll go to the settings. All right, in here we've got general settings such as banner notifications. These pop up at the bottom right corner of your computer. And so you have some options there on how much is shown. We also have badges, show badges for unread messages and notifications on your PC's taskbar. So that's down here, we see 38 unreads. And under that we have theme, and we also have app behavior. So in here, if you would like the phone link app to run at startup, you can go ahead and turn that on here. All right, over to the left, we have devices. This will show you the devices that are currently connected. Notice here, you can add multiple devices. Then we have features. These are some more settings of, of features you can turn on and off. Here we have several under notifications. Under that, we have messages, calls, and photos. Notice that you can turn these off. Let's say, for example, that you only want to see your messages. You can turn off calls and you can turn off photos. So now when I go to calls, nothing's there. When I go to photos, nothing's there. Let's go back into settings and features. Down here, we have some other settings like wallpaper, syncing over mobile data, transferring files. So you can actually send files from your phone to your computer. This is the default folder where the files will go, but you can change that folder location if you like. And then here you can turn on and off your audio player. This will show audio currently playing from your device. Let's take a look at that. Pretty cool. So it pops up over here above notifications and I can control the audio here from the app. All right, then we have start menu personalization. Now this says recent content show my recent mobile device content in the start menu. So your start menu again is down here. If you do not want content from your phone showing up in here, you can go ahead and turn that off. All right, last thing I wanna call out is the controls right here. You can click here and set do not disturb. So you won't hear any notification sounds or media when you are on do not disturb. Here you can turn off the volume from your phone and you can turn off the audio player right here. All right, and that is how you use the phone link app. If you liked this video, please give it a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you wanna see more of this content, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please complete the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.